<laughs> Hello, everyone. Today, we are here with a portrait of insanity. Hello. Yeah. Is there anything you would like to say before we get started? No, not really, actually. I, I have nothing to say. So. <laughs> Okay, and uh, just to warn everybody, this is going to be a very long interview, so make sure to uh, grab some popcorn and sit back and enjoy, because I think we actually have over 50 questions for you. <laughs> Glorious. So, Longer the better, they say. <laughs> um, you, you're going for the record? <laughs> okay. Um... We'll go ahead and uh, we'll jump right in. The first set of questions are to you as a narrator. Yes. Okay. How did you come up with your channel name? Well, that's actually, that's, that's a pretty long story. So I'm just going to like try and simplify it. it. It sort of like surrounds like my childhood and what I've gone through in life because basically throughout my life I've been in and out of like hospitals and therapies and in all my life has been like a hectic roller coaster of like insane events which has made me like the person that I am today so in other words I sort of took my life and saw it as this portrait of insane like events that have kept going on and off and since it's sort of long and sounds like um, the book series and movie, a series of unfortunate events, I actually, which is actually one of my favourite book series and movies, um, I decided to just name myself a portrait of insanity or also known just as insanity. So yeah, that sounds like the short version of it. How did your persona come to be? Uh, I, I actually made my persona while I was, um, while I was in, like, it was one of the times I was actually in one of the hospitals that I was placed in, and at this time I really didn't know much about, like, my mental situation, and as, as much as we do now, and this was also when I was figuring out my situation with me being trans, so I sort of created this other side of me in order to vent out what I was going through, and with that, I put all of my frustrations and everything that was going, what I considered wrong and what I, like, didn't fully know. It was this, like, mixture of things that I've been told by doctors or my family or what my mind came up to be, and I put it into this, this other side of me. And it sort of became my my creation which I could go to when I needed to vent when like I needed to get away from the world and be who I wanted to be who what everything going on in my life created and that's sort of how my persona came to be so yeah do you have any future plans for your channel um not really i'm sort of just going with the flow at this moment of like what what comes up i sort of yeah just the flow 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 with the river pretty much <laughs> how has narrating changed you and your life um narrating has given me an area where i can voice out my frustrations in a way where everyone can enjoy where i can enjoy where people who come to listen can enjoy the stories and enjoy what I will let out, whether it is stories that I have written or stories that I've come to enjoy. So that is, that is how narrating has changed my life. <laughs> Why did you start narrating? Um, actually, two of my really good friends, um, MCP and More Midnight, um, suggested narrating to me as like a way to vent sort of so they they sort of got me into narrating as a way to help me out which i i thank them hugely for getting me into it so, yeah. what creepypasta do you want to narrate but are having trouble doing so 
I don't really have creepypastas that I'm having trouble with, but um, if I did have to say, it has to be the, it has to be Ben Drown. And I think it's because of like how, how long I've been known as Ben, but I think it's just more so the fact that I've come up in my own little head a somewhat spin-off story of Ben Drown, so it's sort of like really hard to get me into that. What creepy pasta has made an impact on your life? I this is pretty much the same as the last answer, but um I think it has has to be Ben Drown. And I, I know it's sort of cliche, but it it's mostly it's it's what got me into the creepy pasta community was that story. So it's I I'm pretty sure it made like a huge impact on my life. So yeah. What creepypasta will you not narrate? <laughs> it's it's a mix between Smile Dog, Jeff the Killer, and the Slender Man series. The the reason why it's a mix of those three is because just for me they are just really, really cliche. And I they're just really cliche for me. And I don't like how cliche they are like Jeff the Killer is cool like they're they're cool stories it's just they're, they're really cliche horror stories that is it for the narrator question set or to you as a writer okay how did you come up with your pen name well um my actual name is Nicodem Lapierre so I just like made it insanity Lapierre like, I know, it's so original, right? It just added, like, my persona's name to the front of it. So, yeah. <laughs> That's how my pen name came, came to be. What story do you wish you had been the one to write? H.P. Lovecraft's Cthulhu stories has to be, like, my automatic top. Like, like I wish I wrote those because of how amazing they are. So, yeah. Who are your favorite writers? Um, H.P. Lovecraft, Stephen King, Edgar Allan Poe, Victor Hugo, and Oscar Wilde are my top favorite writers. Where do you get your inspiration? Um, I get my inspiration from my emotions or basically what's going on in my life or sometimes when I just sit outside and I watch basically I sit outside at night especially where I, I live in in Paris it's a very very inspiring place especially at night because you see you see the cars drive by you see how quiet it is compared to how loud it is during the day so it, it gives you some some nice thoughts and a quiet calming center for you to write and nice how has writing changed you and your life um, i i guess it has given me a way to let people know how i see the world and i see the world a lot differently than how a lot of people see it and i yeah it helps me voice out how i see everything and it lets me let other people see that too and experience that Why did you start writing? Um, I was actually, believe it or not, a, a really shy child growing up and I studied all the time. I, I actually had to have my friends at the time talk for me when it came to new people or I just stared in confusion and ran off to go do some random things. So um, my friend, who is still one of my really, really good friends, um, their mum actually introduced me to writing down how I thought and Basically, they had me write down what I wanted to say and to look down at what I wrote and to speak it out. And uh, that sort of got me into writing. What story are you most proud of writing? <sighs> the Weaver is actually one of my favorites. It's a story that I wrote extremely late at night and it, it's one really close to my heart. What is the earliest story 
you remember writing? Oh God, um, <laughs> I I think it was one I wrote when I was like nine or ten, and it was about a werewolf and a talking pumpkin. <laughs> Like that, that has to be the earliest story that I remember, and the only reason I remember it is because my mom still has the whole story. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. What story are you currently working on? Oh, that's, that's sort of a surprise, but it's it's pretty big. I've actually been working on it for um, the past like year and a half now, and it should be released around October of next year or this year. Where do you see yourself going with your writing career? I I want to be a screenwriter or a director if my makeup career doesn't take off or if my makeup career does take off I'd still like to do that because it's something that I've always been interested in. Okay, that is it for the writer questions. The next set are to you as an artist. Ooh. When did you first get started in art? Um, I have to say ever since the day I was born, my, my father was a tattoo artist and my mother is a makeup artist, painter and sculptor. So I've been pretty much surrounded by art all of my life, so it's hard to say exactly when I first started. What kind of artwork do you produce? Any kind, whether it's from painting on canvas, sculpting, or doing makeup, I, I'm doing some kind of art, like whether it's on any type of medium, I'm into it. Unless it's photography, then I'm sort of into it, but I'm not because it's just too complicating to understand. What kind of medium and equipment do you use for your artwork? Anything really, um, whether like I said, I do a lot of makeup, um, canvas painting and sculpting. When I do paint, it's usually with acrylics on canvas mixed in with watercolours but when I'm sculpting I'm usually using just clay water and it's really it so yeah it's the type of mediums I use. Where do you get your inspiration? Um, I get inspiration from everything but it's it's mostly from how I'm feeling or the mood of the area that surrounds me, whether like if, for example, if it's a rainy day, like a very sad rainy day when no one's outside and it's all dark and cloudy and very gloomy. Like, yeah, there, there are the happy days where, where it's like that, but it's mostly just where it seems like nobody's there, where everybody's mourning. I, that's some inspiration, like, for example, that is. And, like it, it all depends on the area and how I'm feeling in general. Are there any artists that influence your work? Like I said, I grew up with artists, but if you mean like history's greatest artists that are in like, um, like museums and stuff, I, I would have to say Van Gogh, Picasso and Leonardo da Vinci have to be my three favorite artists. How has art changed you and your life? I, I went through art, so I guess this kept me sane enough to not go and become a crazy goat farmer or basically just flipping out in a fit of hysteria. So it's, it's kept me pretty sane so far, at least more sane than I'm not sane, if that makes sense. <laughs> what art project? are you currently working on? I'm, I'm actually working on this project for um, a family member. Actually, it's not my blood family member, but um, I considered her my little sister and she actually recently passed away in October. And I am painting a portrait of her in her remembrance. So that's actually a project that I'm working on at this moment. Mm -hmm. 
That is it for the artist questions. The next set is to you as a gamer. Ooh, yay! I love games. <laughs> Which platforms do you play on? Um, I play on console and PC. It's really a mix, so yeah. What genres do you prefer to play? Um, anything really, but I mostly like to play like horror genres or um things that more like history adventure. Don't, I don't really know how you clarify the games that I play, but those are those are mostly it. Why did you start gaming? Um, my dad has played games throughout my life, and he he sort of introduced it to me, and so that that's actually how I got into it so I sort of sort of adapted it from him what is your favorite game or game series to play oh it has to be it has to be like a mix between the fallout series and the assassin's creed series who is your favorite character to play as um I like playing as Arno Victor Dorian or Ezio Adutore from um, Assassin's Creed. Sorry. What was your favorite project to do or be part of? Damn, it's actually a really hard one because I've been part of so many. Actually, I think one of my favorite ones has to be. Um, has to be with my stream. It we we played a lot of games together, so I think I think that's what you talk about favorite project. Yeah, because <laughs> because it sort of, it sort of was a project, and um, we basically it was just a bunch of friends hanging out playing random games, whether it was like Salem Witch Trials or um, <laughs> or the Cards Against Humanity. We played a lot of silly ones, so that that actually has to be my favorite because we basically bonded over there. Which games do you plan on playing in the future? Mm. I'm actually thinking about um, playing Fallout 4 some more, or um, actually the one that I'm looking forward to is Dishonored 2, which comes out pretty soon, so I'm actually looking forward to that. Okay, that is it for the gamer questions. The next set are to you as an ASMR artist. Oh. What are your personal triggers? Um, I have a lot actually. I think um, my personal triggers for me has to be like um, talking, especially in like low voices when it comes to like my my native language, which is Francis. Um, when that or or French, sorry. When I I like I like that or um like soft soft noises when it comes to whispering, whistling, like wood tapping, water. Those are like some of my favorites. What triggers do you enjoy using in your videos? It's pretty much the same as the last one. Um, I I do a lot of talking and a lot of um, yeah. It's pretty much the same. <laughs> Is there anything you do to get into the proper mindset before recording a video? Um, I relax myself. That's one of the main things because what I'm trying to do with um, ASMR is help other people relax. So when I'm relaxed, I can I can really help other people. So I usually listen to some calming music, burn some incense, meditate, type of things. Why did you start recording ASMR videos? Um, like I said, it um. For me, my, my therapist actually recommended, um, a therapist and a friend recommended ASMR to me because I have, I have horrible anxiety. So it's, it's sort of, and I can't go to sleep because of my insomnia. So they, they basically introduced me to that. And I, being someone who likes to help people, 
I um, decided to get into it because I, I saw how much it helped me and to be able to do that for somebody else um, is a really nice feeling for me, so yeah. Okay, that is it for the ASMR questions. The next set is to you as a musician. When did you first get started in music? <laughs> um, actually, like, I think it was when my mom started playing David Bowie to me or when she started singing to me. It, it happened at a very young age. I've always loved music. I loved the beat. It, it's always calmed me down. So since I was a child, very young. What genres of music do you enjoy? Anything but country. God, no, no, I need to be, no. If you like country, I have nothing against you. I just, I just hate country. I completely despise country. But I do, I do like a lot of indie and a lot of um, punk and goth music. They're, those are like some of my favourites, so yeah. What instruments do you play? I play piano, violin and guitar. What instruments do you want to learn to play? Harp. I want to learn how to play the harp. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. It's just it's one of those instruments that I, I want to learn to play for like no reason at all. What was the first instrument you learned to play? Um, guitar. That was, was one of the first instruments. What instruments do you own? Um, a violin and guitar. When did you when did you get into singing? My mother told me, my mother likes to tell me that I got into singing when I was learned how to talk. Okay, when I learned how to scream. <laughs> so that was she she says that that's when I got into music got into singing, but um I, my earliest memory, I think I got into singing when I was around 10 or 11, so. What style of music do you enjoy singing most? I like um, 1950s swing to, um, to like regular like indie music, though those are my favourite. What is your favorite song to sing? Oh God, I don't know the name of it, but it plays like if you play Fallout Four, it plays on on the Diamond City radio. I don't know the song, but I I think it's called like Grandmother Plays the Numbers or something like that. It's one of my favorites. When I'm playing the game, I'm always singing it. <laughs> okay, now we have some kind of randomized questions for you. Okay some uh, miscellaneous uh what is a fun fact about yourself oh god thank you for putting me on the spot there honey um i don't mm, i guess a fun fact about myself is I actually didn't think about this i actually didn't know you put that on there so it was um, the very last question on there I think I sort of looked past it, right? I'm sorry. Um, I think a fun fact about myself would be I I like to dance along to music. At like random moments, I'll just start randomly dancing. I think that's a fun fact, yeah? Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'd say go. so. Would you like to tell us about your pets? Yes, indeed. I love pets. I have like a lot. I have like a cat. I have a really fat cat, <laughs> which is amazing. And I actually recently got a puppy. Um, her name, my cat's name is Iris, and my puppy's name is Luna. Luna loves good after the character in Harry Potter. And I have um, two horses. I have. Um, a black, a black um, American Walker, and that is, I think, it's not an American Walker. Yeah, it's not an American Walker. It's a Gypsy Horse. <laughs> the Gypsy Horse is name is Flirt, and he's all black. And then my um, my Walker, um, her name is Honeydew because she's all 
like a whitish yellow and she looks like Hanudu. Yeah. If you came with a warning label, what would it be? Mm. I think my warning lo label would be um, extreme amounts of sass and sarcasm. So <laughs> that would be my warning label. Do you believe there will be a zombie apocalypse? Yes. Yes, I do. Sort of. Depends. It, it, I feel it's going to happen like a way out of my lifetime. But yeah, there's going to be some scientist who does some like weird, messed up experiment and zombies come out of it. Yeah. Would you survive a zombie apocalypse? No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I... I would be the last person to know that there was a zombie apocalypse. Like I, I don't, I don't have any cable at all. So I like, I would not know that there was a zombie apocalypse going on, because if I saw it on like the internet, I wouldn't believe it, and I would most likely go outside where I ran out of food and get like mauled by zombies. <laughs> what is the best weapon to use against a zombie? Um... I think it has to be like a sword or an axe or something sharp because guns will attract zombies so yeah I think swords. What is the best musical instrument to use against a zombie? <laughs> um, a violin. Like those, those um, yeah, a violin. Any particular reason why? Those, um, I've cut my fingers on the strings of violins, and those, those things are hard. Like, like those, they don't break at all, at least mine don't break, so it's, yeah. If you had to hide a body, where would you put it? I think I'd put it on the border of um, Canada and America, or on the border of anywhere, really, because if it's on the border, half of it goes to like that one country that you're at than the others, so they can't really like. Yeah. <laughs> How many cups of Jello does it take to fill the White House? A lot, a lot of cups of Jello. Depends on how big the cup is, though. So, if you have like a White House sized cup of Jello, then one. But if you have like regular sizes of Jello, I, I think a lot. Okay, now you requested that I ask you a bunch of random questions without telling you what they are first, so they are completely <laughs> random and new to you. Hey! Okay, are you ready for this? <laughs> Yes, I am ready. I am prepared. Let me get a drink first. Uh, okay, feel free. I'm prepared now. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so it, it, normally in interviews, people people know what the questions are ahead of time, but these are very spur of the moment for you. Okay. Do you believe in aliens? Yes, I do. I, we can't be, like, humans cannot be the only life form out there. There has to be aliens somewhere. Has to be. Do you or somebody you know ever have seen an alien? I actually, there, there's actually this old lady that lives by the library. And she, it's like, cause there, there's a library and a flower shop across. And she lives, like, on top of the flower shop. She owns it. And she, she likes to claim that she's seen aliens, but she, 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 she's crazy. <laughs> do you believe in ghosts? Um, yes, I do. I do believe in ghosts, actually. Have you or anyone you know ever seen a ghost? Um, I've experienced... I haven't seen, like, apparitions or anything, but I have experienced some crazy shit. So, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember your dreams? Um, yeah, actually, I do. Um, it's usually the worst dreams, like the night terrors that I remember, but there are a couple of good ones that I do remember. Would you like to share with us any dream that you remember having? 
No, not really. Okay. Uh, would you tell me a secret? Sure. Wait, are you telling me to tell you a secret right now? Yeah. <laughs> tell us, tell us a secret. Tell, tell all of no. the people of YouTube and the internet a secret. <laughs> a secret. Oh God. Okay, I have a secret. Um, I actually, it's it's about a prank that my friend didn't know that I was involved in, but it really, really pissed her off. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. I don't know if there's a lot of curse on here. Yeah. No. It's it's you yeah. can. Okay, see, I, I've been trying to stay so clean that I say that one. I'm like, damn it. Okay, so basically, uh, what happened was um, I filled her her room up with those packing peanuts, like all the way to the top. So when she opened her doors, packing peanuts just started coming out, and I took all of her furniture and I put it in the attic, and she couldn't find it for like days. So she was really angry about it. Like, and when I mean like all of her furniture, I mean like her living room, her kitchen, her bedroom, and her art studio. Like all of the furniture was just gone up in the attic, and she didn't know she actually had an attic until like her her boyfriend at the time had to show her, and it really messed her up. <laughs> That's my secret. Where and how did you get so many packing peanuts? <laughs> I actually um I had a friend of mine and it was it was at the time where I was I was living in um I was living in England at this time and we went we went to um Tisco which is like this huge shopping mart and they have like these like like these packing peanut bags in like bulk and we got like a bunch of them they're like really cheap because they were on sale for like some odd reason i don't know why i can't remember at this moment but like we got like a bunch of them <laughs> and that's what we did we did it to her art studio and her bedroom she was so angry <laughs> is that the weirdest thing you've ever bought or have you bought something weirder i bought i bought weirder things actually <laughs> Would you like to tell us what they are? Um, I bought a bunch of those those rubber ducks that you um that when you squeeze them they scream, and I taped them down to my friend's floor, like all over his house. So while he walked in, because he, he doesn't have a flip by his door, so while he walked in, all he heard was those screaming ducks mm -hmm. up until he had to flip on his switch and he had to go out. Through his, through his entire house to flip on all the switches to see what was on the floor. Yeah. Were there any other <laughs> pranks or practical jokes you would like to talk us about that you were part of? I do a lot, actually. Um, I um, I filled another um, my friend's mom's office in bubble wrap once. Um, like her chairs, her floor, her ceiling, her desk, everything on her desk was just covered in bubble wrap. How long did that take you to do? All night. Like I had to do it in one night too, so it was good. Tell me something about yourself that I wouldn't think to ask you. Um. I'm terrified of heights and spiders. <laughs> I think I think that's something that you want to ask me. Or um, yeah, I don't know. What is the weirdest phobia you have? I th deep waters. That's my weirdest one. Because like I, I have some pretty practical ones, but like coming from someone who like swims a lot and like goes boating I'm, and and lives and was born at an area which is yeah with a lot of water and it's known for its clear waters I'm, I'm actually pretty terrified of deep deep oceans especially considering the fact that my favorite animal is whales so yeah that's my pretty impractical one 
What song best describes you? Death. Death. Um. I. I don't. Can can we get back to this one actually? Because this is actually like a lot of songs are popping to head at this moment. Oh yeah, th that that question um gives people a lot of trouble, but they want to go back to that one after I ask them what song best describes your life. I heard that's also a hard one. Why did you do this to me? <laughs> you asked. You specifically <laughs> asked for it. it. Changes all the time. Um, <laughs> I. Hmm. I'm gonna say like a really random one that comes to head, but you you know that it's always it's gonna be. I think actually, the one that describes my life has to be um, I don't fucking care by Black Bear. So yeah, that actually has to be one that describes it. What is your favorite cold drink? Mm. non-alcoholic i think um you can do both if you like uh <laughs> no i'm just i'm just gonna like i think my favorite has to be i really like apple juice yeah apple juice is my favorite apple juice is grape juice don't know i just really like juice in general <laughs> What is your favorite hot drink? Coffee. Do you like to put anything in your cup in your coffee? A, a lot of creamer. A lot of creamer. Like it's it's more so like think. Like like you know when somebody asks you if you want a little bit with something, think mm -hmm. of hey, do you want a little bit of coffee with that creamer? That is my coffee. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, plain or flavored? Flavored. I like um hazelnut creamer, hazelnut creamer or caramel creamer. Those are my favorites. What is a drink that you cannot stand? Oh God. Mm, there's only one that comes to mind, and it just like makes me gag right now. It's it's this like concoction, and I don't know what it's called, but um. It's an American drink. <laughs> it's out in the States. That's all that I know. But um it's it's like this orange mixed with like grape and some other things. It's 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 disgusting. Like it it makes me want to like vomit in my mouth because of how bad it is. It's just it's just gross. It's just gross. It also has those little, it has like edible, like marble things that are all squishy in it. It's just a little, oh, no. Uh, are you thinking about uh, bubble tea? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No. <laughs> that, was, that was a horrible experience on my, my side. Okay, and I think the edible squishy thing, um, the two things that are most popularly put in them is tapioca and lychee. Mm -mm. Oh, that was, I, I actually, I believe I cried when I started drinking that. I, I'm fully certain that I just like started crying because of how bad it was. What is your favorite color? Mm, purple. I like purple, like a dark royal purple. That has to be my favorite. Purple or blue? I like blue. Yeah. What is your least favorite color? Vomit green. It's like that really ugly green that makes me makes you think of like baby vomit. It's like, I, ugh, no, no, thank you. Or like a highlighter yellow. <laughs> I hate those two colors. What are some of your favorite foods? Mm, anything chocolate. I love chocolate. I love chocolate. Um, or um, soups. Like um, I actually had the soup last night, but it's like this potato soup. And lasagna is also one of my favorites too. Lasagna. What foods do you hate? 
Any casseroles? Hate casseroles. <laughs> I hate them. Or seaweed wraps. I hate seaweed wraps too. What was the last thing you ate? Um, last thing I ate was um cheddar, cheddar, um cheddar crisps today. I actually ate that like right after I got off school. So. What's your favorite ice cream? Mm. I like um. I like lime sherbet or Superman ice cream. Those are my two favorites. What's the favorite letter of the alphabet? Elkzies. These are pretty cool. They remind me of snakes for some odd reason. They just do. <laughs> Is there a letter of the alphabet you don't like? No. Actually, yeah, yeah, actually there is, and it, it's Q, because Q looks too much like P, and it makes me really angry. So. What is your so. favorite number? Favorite number? Um, 13 has to be my favorite number. Is there a number you don't like? Nah, no. Nah. What's your favorite pizza topping? Mm, it's too many, but I, I could always go to like a casual um, pepperoni pizza. Is there something that you liked as a kid, but you don't like now? Mm. Casseroles. Is there something that you like now, but didn't like as a kid? Spaghetti. I I hated I hated spaghetti when I was younger, because like I thought I thought the noodles looked like worms, so I despised it and I love it now. What is your favorite restaurant? Oh no. Um. The thing about this. Mm. I don't know. I really don't go to that many restaurants, so it's like. What is your favorite store? My favorite store. God, I I like um. I really don't go to stores. I usually go to like um. Hmm, I have a few couple. I usually go to charity shops during sometimes. I'm, I'm I don't have enough money. I can't I can't go to really fancy stores, but um, it's usually charity shops or um, there there's some like finders and some other things that I like cheap, but they got they got like cool cool clothes. So just just tiny shops that I go to. What is your favorite tree? A willow tree. <laughs> I love willow trees. They look all cool, so it's my favorite. What is your favorite flower? I like roses. Roses are my favorite flowers. They, um, yeah, I like roses. What is your favorite TV show? Mm, I don't really have one, but, um, I had to say, I think it would be Orphan Black or Gotham. Have to be my two favorite TV shows right now. Did you have a favorite TV show as a child? Mm, if you consider Bob Ross as a TV show, <laughs> then yeah. <laughs> but other than that, no. I, I, we really didn't have cable growing up we only had like one channel and that was the news channel and early in the morning it played Bob Ross so yeah what is your favorite word I have to think about this one I have so many favorite ones but they're all like really weird words no go ahead and say some of them mm.
I like Bumblebee and Keyhole. I don't know why, but whenever I say Keyhole, it always makes me smile and make me laugh. I don't know why, but it's like one of my favorite ones. It's it's random as all hell, but it's, I like it from some odd reason. I think it's because it sounds a lot better in English than it does in French. <laughs> what is your zodiac sign? Um, I actually don't talk about this because I haven't given out, um, I don't give out my birthday or the month. So I usually don't talk about my zodiac sign. Will you sing for us? <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> my foot cramped up right when I was saying no to oh, that hurt. <laughs> oh no, don't hurt yourself. It's okay, we, we won't make you sing, I promise. <laughs> what is the first thing that pops into your mind when I say fruit roll-up? Bumblebees. Where all have you traveled to? Um, a lot of places. I, um, I've gone to England, Scotland, Ireland, the States, um, Canada. France, which, as you can tell, is where I live. Um, Sweden, Germany. Yeah, there's like the main couple that I've gone to. Where would you like to travel? Mm -hmm. I'd like to go to Korea or um, Russia one of these days. What is your favorite animal? Whales. <laughs> I love whales, I'm sorry. They're, they're just big fat babies that swim around the ocean singing. They're, they're amazing. I love whales. <laughs> are there any animals you don't like or are scared of? Spiders. God, I hate spiders. Oh, no. No. Have you ever had a bad experience with a spider? Mm, yeah, I've, um, I used to have, my mother had this really old um, claw bathtub that she actually had to take out because um, when I was really little, I found a way to move it. And it was like one of those really old ones that was all metal. And I always found a way to move it around the bathroom. So she just finally just went like, we're going to take this up. And what happened was I had like blankets inside of it because I had like a little playroom. Because in our old house, we had like a lot of rooms. So I had my little own playroom. And it was right next to my bedroom. And I remember laying down and a bunch of spiders just started like crawling out. And it terrified me. They, they were babies. Like it was, it was, yeah. I didn't go in that room for like ages. What is your favorite holiday? Mmm. Um, I don't have a favourite holiday. If I had to say my favourite, it would be Halloween. Or it would have to be um, Summer Solstice. So those have to be my favourite ones. What are some of your hobbies? I, I paint, I game, I do cosplay, and I, I collect seashells. So... What is your favorite thing that you own? I actually have this one. Favorite thing that I own. I think my favorite actually has to be this. I don't know. I wouldn't really recommend that as my favorite. Something really close to me. But um, I think one of my favorites has to be my sewing machine and my painting kit. But if it has to be like sentimental value, I actually have a necklace that my mother gave me and a watch that my stepmother gave me that are very close to me. So. What makes you laugh? A lot of things. It's actually, it's not that hard to make me laugh. So... <laughs> Yeah. If you won a ridiculously large amount of money, what is the first thing you would buy? I think I'd buy a couple of businesses and all that's going up and I get more money, I would start um, actually sending my money to charity. So 
this would be like my favorite thing but it's gonna be like my first couple things that I'll do what is your favorite vegetable are mushrooms a vegetable mm, not really but no for, well for this we'll consider it one okay mushrooms and if not um carrots so. Or Brussels sprouts. I like Brussels sprouts. It's pretty good. What vegetables do you not like? Mm. They're, they're these weird things, but they're all squishy and they're yellow. I don't know what it's called. It, 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 it looks like a cucumber, but it's yellow. And you usually put it in stews, but it tastes disgusting. My mother always like, oh, they're delicious. No, mom, they're they're gross as all hell. Please, no. Like, I have I have to like leave them aside in my bowl and just like throw them out. I don't know what they're called, but they're disgusting. What is your favorite fruit? Mm, my favorite fruit, strawberries. I love strawberries. What fruit can you not stand? Mm. I don't know. I love I love fruits, so it's I I can't really say that I can't stand a fruit, really. Unless no, actually, I can I can. Um, blood oranges. I hate those things. I hate blood oranges. They're weird. And they're disgusting. So they're all bitter and everything. Yeah. What? What is your favorite pie? <laughs> um, pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie. <laughs> so. What is your favorite cake? Cheesecake. Strawberry cheesecake. What is your favorite dessert? Death by chocolate because it's just like a bunch of chocolate, so it's it's basically diabetes in a bowl. That's pretty much what it is, and I love it. What is your favorite candy? Mm. There's these there are these rock candies, but they're like shaped like little fruits, and they taste like them. So yeah, I like those. What is your dream job? My dream job. I want to be a makeup artist. So that's a makeup artist or a tattoo artist are my dream jobs. Were you scared about posting your first video on YouTube? Mm, sort of. I was sort of scared and sort of excited. So it's a little mix of it. What is your favorite thing to do when nobody's looking? I don't know. I really don't. I I usually don't do anything that I I wouldn't do when someone is looking. Besides, like um, I don't know, sleep. I could sleep if I could, or um, I don't know. I do random things. <laughs> Or if, like, someone is, like, turned around, I'll make faces at them or something. So, yeah. I'll do that. What is your favorite movie? Mmm. What to think about this? New movies, as in, like, came out recently, has to be a mix between um, Crimson Peak and the new um, Victor Frankenstein that um, stars Daniel Radcliffe. I like those two. Those two are nice. Um... If it's old movies, I have to say that my favorite out of the old movies has to be um, The Shining or Stephen King, um, Children of the Corn. Who are your favorite actors? Can, can you repeat that? <laughs> Who are some of your favorite actors and actresses? Ooh, um... I like Daniel Radcliffe, um, Tom Hiddleston. Oh, fuck. 
Um, I can't name them all because I keep forgetting. Um, Scarlett, Scarlett Johansson is one of my favourites. Um, there's a lot. I'm sorry, I can't name them all on the top of my head. I can I can name my character, so. Uh, who are some of your favourite characters from movies? Okay. Um, there's Loki, um, Thor, um. Jerome from Gotham, um, yeah, there's um, Fish from Gotham, um, Bucky Barnes from Captain America, um, yeah, there's a few, there's, there's, there's a lot, so I'm sorry. I like, I like um, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker, so those are my, those are my ultimate two. <laughs> Do you have any favorite directors? Mm, no, not really. I like JJ. Nice to know what? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. If you have something to say, go ahead and say it. Yeah, I like um, I like the director JJ. He's um, he's been doing a lot of movies as of recently, and he he's a, he's a great great director. So I really like him. <laughs> What is to the left of you? Um, a lava lamp. That is what's to the left of me. What is to the right of you? The right of me is um, a clothes basket filled with all my dirty clothes. What is in front of you? In front of me is my laptop. <laughs> and what is behind you? Behind me is my wall and pillows. What sorts of things do you have on your walls like around you and in your bedroom and stuff? Um, I have my French tricolor flag, um, I have my gay pride flag, I have a bunch of art that my mother has done. Um, I got two grateful dead bears hanging out with my scarves, um, I got a Harley Quinn poster, I got Assassin's Creed posters, and I got a hat hanging up. And yeah, that's it's what's on my walls at the moment. What is your favorite outfit to wear? Mm, I don't really have a favorite outfit. It usually consists of um, black skinny jeans, um, a shirt, a hoodie, and my leather jacket. It's usually what my outfits consist of, or um, it's, it's confusing. I usually just grab whatever I can that goes together and put it on. Do you prefer daytime or nighttime? Nighttime. I, the daytime out here is too hectic for me, and nighttime is, yeah, I like the nighttime a lot better. It's easier to think, and it's prettier to walk around at night. Which two animals would you like to see crossbred? A whale and a unicorn. I think I'll just turn into a narwhal. I don't know. Yeah. Do clowns scare you? Somewhat. <laughs> just, just a little bit. What about them scares you? Um, it's hard to explain. It's just one of those things where it just like sort of just puts me on edge. I think it's just because like they're they're too happy, and it's it's just one of those things where like I don't I don't really like them because of the story behind them and how happy they are and just how they always get in your face. It's, it's not something that I really like. Do mirrors scare you? No, actually, I um. Mirrors do not scare me. If you had a pet poodle, what color would you spray paint your car? What? <laughs> <laughs> How do those coexist? <laughs> if I had a pet poodle, why would I spray it? <laughs> I I don't know. Um, 
I thought I thought you were about to say spray paint my poodle, not car. What? I I think I would just spray paint it black or like green. I don't know. Like not an ugly green, like a pretty green or red. I don't even know why those can exist. Why? <laughs> I can hear. Um. I was trying to come up with a bunch of questions before, and I asked my roommate, I was like, hey, ask me a question. And that was the question that was provided. And so it became <laughs> one of my base questions for a bunch of random questions. That is how it came to be. That is glorious. <laughs> okay, okay, now, now back, back to you uh, to answering questions. <laughs> Do you like bacon? Um, yes, somewhat. Not as much as a friend of mine does, but yeah, I, I, I do like bacon occasionally. Maple bacon is better though, but yeah, occasionally. What story would you like to see turned into a full-length movie? Damn, you mean like a movie that they're not going to fuck up? Yeah, if they actually <laughs> did it right. I think um, it has to be Anne Rice's um, Vampire Chronicles. I'd really like to see that turned into a movie or um, H.P. Lovecraft's um, Cthulhu series turned into movies. But that didn't get fucked up. So yeah, they actually follow the story. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see those. What is your favorite ice cream toppings? I don't really have toppings on my ice cream. I know, I know, I know, I'm such a rebel. But yeah, I don't really put um, toppings on my ice cream. What is the weirdest thing you have ever eaten? Popcorn and cream cheese. What are some weird things that you would like to try? Hmm. Pickles and ice cream, actually. I mean, that sounds disgusting, but I actually like to try that. If you found a magic genie and had three wishes, what would you wish for? Um, I think I'd actually wish for um world peace first. I know, I know it's cliche and stupid, but um, I'd actually like to just see how the world would um coexist with out fighting and domination and stuff seems like a pretty good thing and i think my second wish would be to um i don't know i'd actually think i'd leave the two wishes free until i needed them in the future if you were trapped on a desert island who would you like to have with you My worst enemy, so if I didn't have food, I could eat them. <laughs> That's a good act. I'm sorry. So uh, if you were to eat them, how would you like them prepared? And what would you like to have with them? Um, I think, I think we'd both be prepared with the desert, whether it was like, um, I think I use their skin as clothes because you can dry out skin and use it as like leather and stuff. So I, I might do that, but I might like um, might roast them over the fire. You know, sauté them a little bit. Um, I'd hope they have a knife, some matches, and some other things so I can actually like set their body on fire. But yeah, other than that, yeah, use their bones for weapons. So. What is the meaning of life? 42. What ritual pasta would you be willing to do? If there was actually a really good ritual pasta, I might do it. But a majority of them that I've read have been really cliche. So, yeah. Did you ever own a pet rock? Yeah, actually I did. And I actually think I still have it as like my aunt's or something. Like I made it when I was really little, so. What does it look like? Mm, I think it was the small rock that I found in the backyard. And I drew eyes on it with like a marker. 
and I glue like string to its head for her. Did it have a name? Yeah. Its name was Susan. <laughs> Any particular reason you chose that name? No, I didn't even know why I had it, to be completely to be completely honest with you. All I know is that its name was Susan. It had marker eyes and yarn hair. <laughs> what is your favourite board game? Mm, my favourite board game has to either be Clue or Monopoly. And it has to be Monopoly because I reign that game. Like, I am amazing at it, but I, like, ruined so many friendships with it. So that has to be my favourite one. What is your favourite card game? Favourite card game is Cards Against Humanity because then I get to see the people around me, especially my family, see actually how demented they are and see the reactions when they actually find out how messed up I am. So. Have you ever broken a bone? No, surprisingly no, and I've fallen off a roof, so yeah, I have not broken a bone yet. Have you ever had to have stitches? Mm, no, not that I'm aware. How tall are you? I am small as all hell. I haven't grown in like the past like three years, but I am um, I am five foot five. What color are your eyes? Um, my eyes are actually um like a deep wine red. So, and I'm not I'm not messing around with you. So yeah. If you could have any random body part added such as like a tail wings something like that what would you like to have i don't know i think i'd actually like to have wings or claws i think wings would be pretty cool because then like i can be in like a very awkward situation i can just fly away so yeah wings would be cool or body armor or gills. No, gills would be horrible. No, yeah, wings. Wings. Wings, would you, yeah. Would you rather travel to the past or the future? The future. Because then in the future, if I have the ability to travel into the past, I know all the secrets of the future, so I can change the future. The past. Science. It's like a sci-fi movie, man. <laughs> if you could have any animal for a pet, what would it be? A penguin. If you could have any mythological creature, creature of legend, as a pet, what would it be? A dragon. Any particular type of dragon or just a dragon in general? A dragon in general. I think Smog would be a cool dragon. I want that dragon from the Hobbits. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Definitely. All the time. Like every Friday that happens. Like right now, like right after this, that is what I'm doing. Who do you think is the best villain you've ever seen in a book, TV show, movie, video game? Like, who, who is the ultimate villain for you? I don't actually think there is an ultimate villain. So, I, I really don't have one. I'm sorry. Okay. Um... I think for right now, I'm actually out of out of questions. Uh, is there anything about your like personal life or yourself that we didn't cover that you would like everybody to know about you? Mm, not really. Other than um, yeah, not really. Okay. Um. In that case, is there anything you'd like to say before we wrap this up? Um. Thank you for having me. This is actually. Oh, what a lot of fun. I actually enjoyed myself, so thank you for that. Oh, definitely my pleasure. To anyone who hasn't already, check the description down below for some links uh, to channel and I believe Tumblr. 
Um, yeah, I I don't have I don't have a lot at this moment, but I will be having some more later on. So yeah, that's not. And uh, yeah, go go sub subscribe, comment, like, show love and support, and all of that fun stuff. And all right, I think that is it for now. So again, thank you very much for joining me today. <laughs> And bye, everyone. Bye. Kisses to all you lads and girls and peeps out there.